This video has us spending some time watching Chris Wormley. Uh, Chris was lined up all over the place last year. Um, you see him here at one, uh, shading the nose, but they used him at three tech a lot, uh, either side. Uh, lined him up at five, uh, inside four, um, over two, over four, all over the place. Real versatile. Uh, I was really impressed by Chris, and I, I wasn't necessarily expecting to see what I saw. Very, very hard to move, very disciplined, tr plays with great leverage, uh, great hands, um, just a disciplined, smart football player. He's a big guy, but he's athletic. Now, he's not going to take a game over. He's not that sort of player, but he is, has turned into exactly the sort of player that the Ravens thought he might when they drafted him. This play has touchdown written all over it, and uh, Chris saves the day. This, this really highlights his athleticism, uh, his ability to set the edge, and his ability to get off blocks. But um, really just an incredible play here. Great tackle. That's Chris at five tech, sort of an angle five. He's got outside contain, and Mixon's got nothing but daylight. You can see he's pretty happy about that, uh, just missing a touchdown. Watch how well this play is blocked. Watch Chris's eyes. Um, he's controlling the tackle here a little bit in the sense that he gets off him when he wants to get off him. He's got hands inside, and his timing is just impeccable. It's, all, it's really what a brilliant tackle this is. Um, I'm sure Mixon thought that was daylight. If you look at this play as it's blocked up right here, but you can see Wormley's already got his foot planted. Wormley was checking out that lead block, and if, and if, you know, see, if he, see if you see him. Yeah, he sees this lead block here. Uh, he sees the ball get, being given. He knows he's pretty alone here on the outside, and he's got to set the outside edge. Does a great job there. Still watching Mixon, aware of the lead block. And once he sees Mixon fall in that lead block, you see that foot go into the ground. You see him uh, uh, disengage, and just a wonderful, wonderful athletic play to get out there and tackle that back. Watch it again. Here's Chris at three. They do move him around a good bit. Uh, you're going to see this center try to get out on, on this goal line play and get into Chris. Chris is not going to have any of that. Wins the leverage battle, and uh, that's, that's where he gets a lot of his strength, just technique. Gets under that center and really just uh, destroys him and collapses the, uh, on the running back there, squeezes in. There's so many good things to see from Chris on th this play. Um, he's here at five tech, and uh, he has two gap responsibility here. You see the eyes and the shed at the end, but look how he's got really this tackle. He kind of works him. Tackle's just constantly trying to get uh, better hand position. Chris has got him. Chris has the leverage there. Chris has his hands inside. Uh, uses his length. There's his eyes peering back. Uh, and his strength. See how he works? Uh, closes this gap here. He knows that uh, CJ's got B, B gap responsibility here, but he's really just kind of having his way with this tackle. Powerful, powerful shed there. We watch that the the head uh, the tackle's head snap. Pretty violent hands and disengaging there. Just love that play. Uh, again, just how he works that tackle into the gap and then just at the right time sheds and gets in on the play. As we've mentioned, he's fundamentally very sound. And, and if a um, tackle or a guard makes a mistake so far as technique, he, he can win on these pass rush things. Uh, you don't see him miss too much. <laughs> Here you see that this guard kind of get into a uh, lean and really bending at the waist. And he gets inside him and just jacks him up, continues to drive. Again, he flushes the quarterback. And then, ultimately, you see, we've seen this on at least three of these clips, just violent kind of hands and, a, and an ability to shed. And I'll... Chris gets off the ball in a hurry here and shoots this gap. Uh, the center tries to come over and get him. And watch him get real low here, get into the center shoulder. Uh, good balance, too. Just kind of rolls right through him and uh, flushes the quarterback. Watch how, watch how good Tavon is here, too. This is Tavon. Uh, running with this 
receiver. Watch him stop as he, he understands Chris is working inside here. He stops right in that gap. And ultimately, he makes the sack. I know we're not watching tape on, but so good flush there by Chris. Nice play by Tavon. He does a nice job on these stretch plays, uh, even as a rookie he did. And that's carried over. Um, you see these this tackle and guard. The tackle does a good job getting out in front of him. And uh, he ends up splitting this combination block. And uh, just good timing coming off of that and making the play. This play has Chris at uh, three tech and uh, one on one with a Pro Bowl guard uh, with two gap responsibility. Watch him control the guards outside uh, arm there. Watch eyes in the backfield. Uh, watch the guard try to turn him. Can't turn him. Can't move him. Chris gets into him first, gives him a little punch back. And then Chris, with this arm con controlling the guard's outside arm, uh, really does a nice job of kind of moving, making the guard go where he wants him to go and playing both gaps there. And then he's able to shed, come off the, the block and make a play. Chris, like I said earlier, he's not going to wreck a game uh, typically. And uh, he's not a, uh, a, a real threat rushing the quarterback, but he does play with great effort. He's a run guy. He's a guy that'll do what he's supposed to do uh, in the context of that particular call. Um, he's versatile. He moves all around. And I'd say the Ravens are very, very glad about him um, as, a, as a big part of this defense going forward. Um, here you see him when he gets off the ball. Uh, at opening up uh, this stunt for Zadarius, but he does. You can see when he's given this task, he gets into the center, and uh, again a Pro Bowl center here. Uh, watch him get that arm off, uh, get his shoulder and head right into Pouncey. Just completely, the ball comes out quickly, but really just moves him uh, because of his ball get off and how how he wins with leverage, how he wins with hands. Here you see that punch that rocks Pouncey. You see his hands control him. And completely open up this lane for Zedarius. Uh, you also see, again, for the 20th time, watch his eyes. <laughs> he just can't help himself. 